Okay, quick video on doing the or getting in to do the valve clearance check on a Triumph Thunderbird. This is a 1600 model. It's got 13,300-ish on the clock. Uh, recommendation is for a 12,000 mile check, so it is overdue. Um, I've been planning it for a little while, or thinking about it. It was something I was going to do over the winter. It's now late October, so I thought probably time to take it off the road. Um, I'd been for a run, nice on that engine. Thought I'd drop the oil out at the same time and give it a bit of a check over. So, first thing you've got to do is get the petrol tank off, which in itself is not a massive problem. You've got a fixing at the front there, and you've got a fixing. Um, here which where the, where the front seat clips on to so release those two but the, the first thing you've got to do is get the speedo binnacle off of here which is three fixings and then you just release this plug here which is, sits in the back of the speedo housing there is a little you can see that, a little quick release mechanism there just pull the plug out and that frees that up. Quick release, everything is quick release. Uh, quick release fuel connection here, um, which pulls off. Inevitably, you get a little bit of fuel spillage, but nothing untoward. Then you are left with this. And I should have probably done this before I'd uh, pulled everything out. You have a mass of cable connections vacuum hoses off the injector bodies, um, throttle cables, um, coolant pipe um, in there which has all got to be moved out of the way before you can get the cam cover off. Um, the worst thing so far has been the coolant because this pipe here sits on top of the cam cover. Um, and you have to get that out of the way before you can get this cam cover off. It sits in here, connects into the thermostat housing here, and into the top of the radiator there, and the filler cap there. Um, so you've got to drain the coolant system down. I did that by releasing the bottom hose, which is in here basically you can just see my finger there so under the two clips you can't push the hose back far enough to clear the radiator because there's a lug on the pipe that runs under the engine so what I did was I undid the top hose here undid this, the bracket that this assembly sits on and pulled that off. That enabled me then to undo the radiator from the connection at the, from its bracket at the top. It sits on rubber mounts, which you can yeah, right in the bottom there near the fan. So it's a case of lifting, lifting up and pulling forward. And once I'd done that, it. Um, it allowed the, the, the bottom hose to come away from the radiator, drain the system down. Uh, spark plug caps, coils, whatever they are, had to come out. There, uh, there's a this hose here sits on these two um, connections that had to come out. Um, there's a guide in there which the throttle cables sit on, that has to come out and all of these cables attached to it when it's in place. Um, to get at the bottom hose, so the hose, this connection in here, to get to that, I ended up pulling the injector bodies off because you just couldn't get in there. This just there's so much going on so I just pulled the injector bodies out as well but I am actually changing the handlebars on this so I need to get to those throttle cables anyway because I need some longer throttle cables put in it so there we are that's where I'm at so far I'm just now at the point of releasing the cam cover 
so that I can get in there and do the inspection. Um, I think so far that's taken me five to six hours uh, in the evenings to get into there. Um, I guess doing it again, you you would probably do it in four hours, but it is a job. There's a lot of work involved uh, to get at it. Um, I'm going to do the valve clearance check. Um, I'll probably do another little video to let you know how that went, and uh, then I'll probably do another video putting it all back together. 